Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here and Dash. And in the background, you can see Scout. They've just had their evening supper, so they're, they're all kind of fat and Dash is grunting a bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that with them. I thought when I set out to shoot this video, you want to try it, Dash? No. Nope. Uh, when I set out to shoot this video, I thought this was going to be the last of my uh, English Oriental Supreme from EA Carey, but I think I can get one more bowl out of it. So we'll we'll see we'll see what ends up happening with that. Mm. I ordered some, and uh, it's not in yet. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it's going to be in here tomorrow. Now I ordered this same uh, Oriental or English Oriental Supreme from two different companies. One is Su uh, Sutliff, I believe, and the other is Peter Stolkeby. And so we'll see how they match up. I've been told that the EA Carry is supposedly uh, Stolkeby. We'll see. I, I, maybe I should hold off on this last little bit in this pouch to have some leaf to compare the other two with. I just made a run to the post office and to the grocery. And I got a little, little Christmas card here. Now, I won't say who it's from, but a member of the YTPC, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Also, last week I got a package from a member, Peter Piper. Some of you know Peter. And uh, let me see if I can cover up his details. I don't care if you see mine or not. We got this little package here. All the way from Rhode Island. Nice little bro note. And I'm going to try some of this with you here. In just a minute, I'll pause and load up a bowl. <laughs> There's a neighbor really revving it up. This is some Wilkie's 71st Street. And I can smell it without even opening the bag. What does it smell like? It smells like I'm in a candy shop. <laughs> it is strong. And I hadn't, I hadn't smoked any of it yet. Came in last week. Wow. Can you smell that, Dad? <laughs> I, all I can think of, it reminds me of being in Gatlinburg, Tennessee and going into like a, uh, one of their candy sweet shops. Well, I had company show up at the door. <laughs> so Dash was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> um... So this is my first ever really hearing uh, the Wilkie uh, pipe tobacco. Uh, of course, I said this is 71st Street. And I was right as Dash was like hearing somebody at the door. <laughs> I was about to tell you what it smells like. And it smells like you walked into a candy store in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And they just pulled a fresh batch of rum flavored caramel popcorn out of the oven. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm getting out of it. it is, mm, mm, I could I could just smell this all day. Forget smoking it even. Well, let's, <laughs> let's light it up. I think I may have packed it a little too too heavy here. I should have even knocked some out, but well, I'm going to go for it. good here. It's an old little Meersham with a bamboo stem and amber uh, bit to it. Very lightweight pipe, but it's it it's deceptive. The 
the bowl looks like it'd be deeper, but actually the bowl ends right at the top of the bamboo shaft here. And uh, the hole, the borehole in it's right in the center. So, It's tasting about like it smells. And the room note. I, I, if I can smell a room note, I don't normally smell the room note while I'm smoking, but this beginning of it is. Got a neighbor testing out his engine if you hear the rumbling in the background. <laughs> It's moistness is uh, pretty comparable to creme brulee. Uh, this this is something I think I will uh, pick up some more of. I'll give it a I'll give it a go here. It, I definitely appreciate Peter Piper sending it to me. Always nice to be introduced to a new blend and, and a new company. I wasn't familiar with this uh, Wilkie Pipe Tobacco. I just don't know enough about them. I'll have to look them up on the internet. I'm sure probably several of you do know about them, but I, that's, I think I've just heard in passing and watching some other uh, videos, and I know Peter. Uh, even one of his most recent videos was another one of uh, their blends. Apple cider. Very nice little blend. I hope you're uh, watching the Fifth Helmet matinees. We just put one up today with uh, Jay Mouton pipes and, uh, and it's very enjoyable very, very enjoyable to get to know uh, Jason a little bit better and uh, of course we had the red coat returns uh, last week with us Lester and so if you've missed those uh, take an opportunity to check them out and hey it is not too late to get your tobacco ads in for the pith helmet matinee so take a look at those today's was armchair pipe armchair piper ed uh, and that was fun a lot of fun uh his little ad it's very smooth uh, right now i cannot see this blend causing tongue bite I would describe it kind of as a creamy uh, taste to it and I was looking at tobacco reviews and they were saying this is black Cavendish which as you know that that's what I've really found is the, the Cavendish is if that's in a blend I, I go toward it then it says Burley and Virginia so we'll see it, it doesn't taste like it's very heavy with burley because a lot of times I don't really I don't know I just for some reason don't gravitate towards very heavy burley blends but it says the flavoring cocoa chocolate uh, nougat and whiskey and I think that <laughs> that's what I'm smelling from where I'm saying that uh, caramelized popcorn used to uh whenever i'd go up to gatlinburg there was a uh, and i don't even think this is still there you had to go up some stairs it's kind of an out of way place but pretty much all they had was various types of popcorn that this little store sold and i always would go in there and buy some of their uh caramel rum flavored popcorn i loved it and i'm not a i'm not a drinker i just love the flavor And this reminds me of that. Well, brothers and sisters, hope you have a good weekend. Till next time, God bless.